let's dive into the world of flat earth theory. It's a wild ride full of twists and turns that defy all logic and reason. Spoiler alert, it's a load of bollocks. But hey, it's entertaining to see how far some people will go to defend it. There's just no evidence, no logic, just a whole lot of head scratching and wondering if some people's brains are wired backwards. It's like watching a debate where no one makes any sense. But hey, who am I to judge? Everyone's got their quirks and odd beliefs. So these flat earthers, they look at the horizon and go, see, it's flat. They point to the seemingly straight line where the sky meets the sea and claim it as undeniable proof. Right? Because looking at a tiny portion of a massive sphere from ant level is a totally reliable way to determine its shape. Imagine an ant on a basketball. It would see a flat surface too. It's like trying to understand the plot of Inception after sniffing glue. You're lost, confused, and probably missing the bigger picture. You're only getting a very limited and probably inaccurate perspective. It's like peering through a keyhole and thinking you can see the whole room. But we've got pictures from space, you say. Actual proof. Images from satellites and astronauts showing the Earth in all its round glory. And they're like, no, nah, those are fake. NASA's in on it, mate. They believe it's all a grand illusion. Of course, because everyone knows NASA's got nothing better to do than fabricate a global conspiracy about a round Earth. Clearly, they have no other missions or scientific endeavors to focus on. Then there's the whole ships disappearing over the horizon thing. You know, how they seem to sink as they sail away. Basic physics, folks. It's called the curvature of the Earth. But the flat earthers, they'll tell you it's an optical illusion. Yeah, right, because our eyes are just playing tricks on us, making things disappear as they go over a curve that doesn't exist. It's like saying, I didn't eat that last biscuit, it just magically vanished because of perspective. Now let's talk about lunar eclipses. You know, when the Earth casts a shadow on the moon, guess what shape that shadow is? Round. Shocker, right? Only a sphere can cast a consistently round shadow. But try telling that to a flat earther. They'll come up with some convoluted explanation about um, mysterious shadow casting object that just happens to be perfectly aligned with the Earth. It's like saying, I didn't fail that maths test. The teacher just hates me because I'm special. And what about the different constellations we see in different hemispheres? You know, how people in Australia see a different night sky than we do. That's because, wait for it, the Earth is a bloody sphere. If it were flat, we'd all see the same stars all the time. But, nope, uh, the Flat Earthers have an answer for that too. They'll say it's because the stars are like little lights on a dome. Yeah, a dome, because that makes perfect scientific sense. And then we have gravity, the invisible force that governs our everyday lives. You know, that thing that keeps us from floating off into space. It's what makes walking, running, and even standing possible. Well, according to Flat Earthers, it's all a big fat lie. They believe gravity is just a myth. They say the Earth is constantly accelerating upwards, like a cosmic elevator that's forever going up. Imagine that. Right, because that's a much more plausible explanation than, you know, a fundamental force of nature that attracts all objects with mass. It's been proven by countless experiments. It's like saying, I'm not fat, I'm just experiencing an excess of upward acceleration. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Let's not forget about time zones. You know, how it's a different time in different parts of the world. That's because the Earth is a rotating sphere and the sun illuminates different parts of it at different times. But try explaining that to a flat earther. They'll tell you it's, it's all a big conspiracy by I don't know, big clock, 
they haven't quite figured that one out yet. And what about flights? You know, how planes fly in curved paths to save time and fuel. That's because they're following the curvature of the Earth. But flat earthers will tell you that pilots are just flying in circles to trick us. Because, you know, airlines are all in on the conspiracy too. They're probably in cahoots with Big Clock. And then there's the Coriolis effect. You know, how winds and ocean currents curve because of the Earth's rotation. Yeah, that's a thing. But flat earthers will tell you it's all because of magic. I don't know, they haven't come up with a good explanation for that one either. And what about all those satellites orbiting the Earth? You know, the ones that provide us with GPS, communication and weather forecasts? Flat Earthers will tell you they're fake, because of course they are. It's all part of the conspiracy. Except for the fact that we can actually see them with our own eyes. But hey, who needs evidence when you've got a good conspiracy theory, right? Even the ancient Greeks knew the Earth was round, for crying out loud. Over 2,000 years ago, a bloke named Eratosthenes calculated the Earth's circumference with remarkable accuracy, and he did it using shadows and basic geometry. No fancy telescopes, no space travel, just good old-fashioned brain power, something flat earthers seem to be in short supply of. The moon, not upside down, just down under. And what about the moon? You know, how it looks different in the southern hemisphere. That's because, wait for it, the earth is a sphere. But flat earthers will tell you it's because, well, they don't really have an explanation for that one either. They just like to ignore the evidence that doesn't fit their narrative. And finally, let's talk about earthquakes. You know, those things that happen when tectonic plates move and release energy? Yeah, those. Well, the way earthquake waves travel through the Earth is consistent with a spherical shape. But flat earthers will tell you that's because... Well, I'm not sure what they'll tell you. They haven't quite figured out how to explain that one away yet. So there you have it, folks. The Earth is round and flat Earth theory is a load of shite. It's like saying cats are actually tiny furry aliens sent here to spy on us. There's just no evidence to support it, but hey, some people will believe anything these days. Stay curious, my friends. Just not when it relates to this nonsense. Shane, out.